talk a bit about your collaboration with Ashley in, on this film? Yeah, absolutely. So we started a company called Change for Balance about 10 years ago. And the goal of that company is to tell stories and tell the stories of people that are working on the front lines to make the world a better place. When Ashley came to us and told us about what's happening with the Asian elephant, and she told us about David Kasselman and, and Lech Chyler, we were all in from the very beginning. She didn't need to say much. We went to Cambodia. We saw firsthand what was happening with the Asian elephant. We saw these two elephants that were rescued. It was supposed to be glorious, but they were abused. They were malnourished. They One had their eye shot out with a slingshot. We're like, okay, we have to do something. And that was the genesis of Love and Bananas. And can we actually stop poaching? This is so horrible what they do uh, you know, out in the wild. You know, it all comes down to awareness, and it all comes down to people coming together and saying that we're not we're going to stand up for these animals um, a film like this is important because we have a tool that we can use that's much more effective than our voices you know there's only so many people that John and I and Ashley and Leck can go talk to but if we can get behind a project in a film like this then the potential to create that awareness is much bigger so we're excited about the potential of this film and yes I, I think we can I think we can create change but it all, it's all comes down to us. What are we willing to do? Are we willing to help people understand what's going on first without judging them and then provide solutions to create change? Not just painting this dark room, uh, uh, you know, this picture that nothing can be done. Something can be done, but it's going to take a lot of work and it's going to take a lot of effort on all of our parts. Last question before they steal you guys from us. Um, what can my fans do to help? Tweet. Share on social media, share on Instagram, see love and bananas, tell your friends. I mean, the key to saving the species is education and it's all with us. And we can do it. We believe that. So the more people that know about this issue, the less elephants will be ridden, the less elephants will be taken from the wild and put it into captivity. The power lies with us and we can do it. Hi, from Thailand. Oh, I'm from Indonesia. From Indonesia. Yeah, we're we have We have the project in Indonesia too. Oh, we yeah. have a project too? In Ekodang, uh, Sumatra. Oh yes, that's where my dad comes from, Sumatra. Oh. So what, what is this project? It's an elephant project. Okay. There is an uh, elephant sanctuary. We rescue elephant from overwork, from locking and bring to the uh, to sanctuary. Thank you for what you do. They really need help out there, right? Yeah. I mean, how do we... What can we do to help, you know, stop this poaching and all this hunting that's that's been happening? You know, it's... Uh, to help the elephant in uh, Asia because the number are uh, decreased quite a lot. Today is the elephant get abused by the many industry as locking by uh, tourist industry and they, they abuse because the tourist doesn't know that. Uh, first thing that is I would like to ask that if possible, if people want to traveling to uh, to Thailand or to Asia, please don't take the ac activity that is used. Uh, elephant abuse by riding or by use elephant for uh, painting or performing because this thing is all cruelty behind the scene. Now, does the government of Thailand help in your cause, in your effort? To be honest, that the government doesn't issue the law yet. You know, uh, this is uh, this is to be if uh, if the government will help is being the big thing that is they have to issue the law to protect uh, uh, the elephant, but See, the government still didn't take that you know, step yet. So uh, it's still difficult for us that to fight for the elephant right in Thailand. Uh, acting, directing, which one is more fun for you now? <laughs> oh my, tough call. I, you know, I love it all. I love, I don't want to sound like a Pollyanna, but I love this business and my job so much. To be able, to be able to, for a five years to constantly create on a project has been so fulfilling for me to direct to write to produce it's just been so creatively satisfying it's been great what is it about elephants that you're so passionate about yeah you know I um when I went to actually see what was happening with them at the Cambodia Wildlife Sanctuary I saw firsthand deforestation I saw the suffering these Asian elephants had abscesses malnourished dehydrated and I saw the hope with which our conservationists featured in the film, like Tyler, worked. Such hope and such victory and, and triumph in the feet of possible defeat. And I wanted to tell that story. I wanted to show audiences that and bring them on an elephant rescue. What were some of the challenges? I'm, I'm guessing logistics and, you know, the elephants are big. So how could you share briefly? Craft services. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of food. It's a wow. lot of bananas. 
I mean, we took an 8,000 pound elephant 500 miles across Thailand. She was tired. She wasn't eating. She was grumpy. She was dehydrated. She almost fainted and took us with her. So, see love and bananas to see what happened. Wow, you yeah. sound like you are awesome for having gone through all that. <laughs> oh, I mean, honestly, it was, it's was it been an honor to tell this story. Lex Chilert is on the front lines every day against tremendous fight and strife and she's had her life threatened and she fights for this species to be able to work for you know several weeks in her shadow documenting her work has been an honor what can my fans do to help with the cause we launched an impact campaign on loveandbananas.com there are four really easy actions that you can take you can sign a humane traveler pledge you can donate to elephants through the Greater uh, the greater Good launched a fund called the Love and Bananas Fund to actually help elephants in need. 100% of donations go straight to the cause. Um, you can host a community screening in your community or a house party and bring the film to your home. Uh, and there's, oh yeah, my God, and social media. Literally the most important of all. The key to saving this species is education. So tweet and share and post. It's all about getting the word out. That's what's going to save the species. Lastly, for my fans of your gigs, movies, or TV shows, what what are you working on next? What can we expect? Yeah, I uh, I just did a film called The Swerve. That's going to be coming out in theaters or hitting the festival circuit soon. I also did a film called The Delta Girl with this amazing new up and coming director called Jacqueline Bethany. Um, and I actually wrote a book about independent filmmaking called Shoot It, Sell It, Show It: How I Made an Independent Film with Grit and Google. To help first-time filmmakers and save them the heart, any heartbreak I had, and give them all the tips and tricks I learned doing this. Wow, you're an author too. You're a Renaissance girl. <laughs> well, it's, I love this business, so yeah. <laughs> hey, my name is Ashley Bell, and you're watching Rama Screen.